pendulum painting. In this lesson, we will be using a pendulum to paint a pattern. A pendulum is a mass that hangs from the end of a string and swings back and forth. This lesson will touch on many concepts such as simple pendulums, spherical pendulums, Newton's first law of motion, inertia, gravity, and spiral patterns. To build a pendulum, first you will need a place to hang it, such as from the bottom of a table, or in this case, a pole held up by two stools. Next, secure a string from your chosen place and attach a metal washer. The washer will add weight to our pendulum and make an easy place to attach a cup of paint. Before proceeding, you will need waxed paper cups, paint mixed with equal parts water, one sharpened pencil, a large paper clip, and your paper. First, bend your paper clip into a W shape and slip it onto the washer. Use a pencil to poke a hole in the bottom of your cup and one on each side of the top to attach it like a bucket to the washer. The combined weight of the washer, paper clip, paint, and cup will make up the mass of our pendulum. Some pendulums only move back and forth, like the ones on grandfather clocks. Ours can move in a circle, creating a spiral pattern. This kind of pendulum is called a spherical pendulum. Arrange paper under the cup. In one hand, take a hold of the cup and place a finger over the bottom to prevent leaking. Pour a small amount of your mixed paint or ink into the pendulum's cup. Lift the pendulum and swing away. Once the pendulum has been lifted and released, gravity pulls the pendulum back down while inertia keeps it moving back and forth. Inertia is the property of an object to stay moving unless it is stopped by an outside force like gravity. The pattern made by the pendulum is showing how gravity reduces the inertia as the cup slows down and eventually stops. Now, you not only have a beautiful evidence of Newton's first law of motion, but a great piece of art that can stand on its own or be worked into other art lessons, such as an underwater scene or geometric art. It's Art to Remember's mission to support and promote art education. Our fundraiser is one that teachers return to every year and parents ask for because it's creative, healthy, and a preservation of childhood memories. Contact us today to get started.